here we are, week two of the, the great uh, lockdown in place. Uh, had an interesting conversation yesterday. Very quickly, uh, if you read my work, and I think that uh, now what does a good job with it in 40 years with a whistle, but I basically break down my world of strength and conditioning into four things, health, longevity, fitness, and performance. Health, I use Maffey Tone's definition. Uh, his book is uh, right there. And uh, it's the optimal interplay of the human organs. Uh, is your liver livering? Is your lungs lunging? Okay, that's health. And you go to, you see medical doctors, you see an eye doctor, you get blood tests. That's what health is. Longevity is two things. Uh, the quantity of years and the quality of years. I'm a big believer in focusing on the quality of life. Uh, there's this thing that we call now the 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 shortening morbidity, you know, so you live long and you, uh, as Rob Wolf told me one time, live long, drop dead. Um, quantity and quality, on quantity, there is DNA and there's luck involved. Um, we can do some things to increase our lifespan, uh, but uh, DNA and luck are, are big things to overcome. Fitness, and I use Darwin's definition, it's the ability to do a task, and it's all it's ever been. Uh, the word fit comes from the old Nordic, uh, which is uh, to, to, to knit. Uh, I feel that a fit person is a well-knitted person. That's my definition, so you know we don't have to argue about it. And then there's performance, and that's when they call your name and you step up and you perform, you do this thing. You know, the, the curtain opens up, you hit your mark, and you say, God, a dance, or whatever it is. One of the things, and this, this virus has really reminded me of the importance of this, is that none of those things, health, fitness, longevity, performance, can be, you can't take a pill for any of it. Now, certainly, uh, there, there are drugs that will help you probably in all four areas. Um, there are, probably are little, what do the kids call them now, hacks that you can do that'll help in all four areas. But really, what helps in all four areas is what Coach Mon taught me in 1977, little and often over the long haul. So right now, I know a lot of us are worried about our health. Uh, a lot of us are worried about our immune systems. Uh, a lot of us are worried about our finances. Um, but in every area of life that I know, uh, the answer is usually little and often over the long haul. Um, there are some good things coming out of this this terrible thing. And of course, as some of you know, I'm an optimist's optimist. Um, the air quality around the world has improved markedly. Uh, many people are discovering how much better it is to work at home than to waste all that gas, time, clothes, uh, I know many people who start work at 7.30 who set their alarm now at 7.28 and then press the press the computer on button while at the same time they're getting their first cup of coffee. To me, that is much more efficient than getting up at 6, eating, showering, doing all that stuff, figuring out what to wear, doing the terrible commute, finding a parking space. Uh, we get to work. Um, people are cooking at home, which I think is a good thing. Um, the number of soups and stews I've eaten in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we, we eat a lot of soups and stews here, but it's kind of even more fun as we go through the uh, our little pantry in the hallway and say, oh, let's add this to this or let's add that to it. Um, people are walking more. Um, last night I was on a, 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 a Zoom conference with probably eight people all talking at once. Uh, that's something magical. Uh, especially the fact that very few of them lived in Utah. The bulk of them were in other states, other parts. That's that's something special. Uh, we're reaching out. Um, many of us are reading books. Uh, I know a lot of us are binge watching Netflix, and I'm fine with that. But there's going to come a point where you've watched enough TV, and you're going to say, I need to go for a walk. But when it comes to our health, folks, uh, one of the lessons... I think that's so important is that, and of course, Phil Maffetone mentioned this in his in his uh, work last week. You know, it was those walks outside uh, with the dog, with the family, 
uh, that built up your immune system. It was, you know, it's doing this, pumping your lymphatic system around. It was all those good meals you've eaten in the last 10 years. It was all those great nights of sleep you've had in the last 10 years. That's what built your immune system. Now, certainly, diseases can strike, and it doesn't matter how ripped you are, how good a shape you are, certain diseases are going to win. Having said that, little and often over the long haul is always going to be maybe the best advice I can give to you in any area of life, education, personal relationships, uh, including friendship and family, um, certainly good health uh, in the areas of nutrition, sleep, your training. So I know a lot of people want a vaccine for this, but that's not going to be coming for a while. What we need to do is make sure we do the little things, you know, wash your hands, uh, cover your mouth when you cough. Everything my mom told me as a child, nothing new under the sun. Get your sleep, you know, eat good food, and let's come out on the other side a little bit better. Thanks so much.